Hello and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be about OpenSCAD and how to use the translate command. This video is targeted at beginners, so if you've used OpenSCAD for a while now, this video is probably not for you. We're going to be walk, work, working through the basics of, of translate and, and the, the coordinate system and how it affects objects. And then we'll show how you can translate a, a multiple trial objects and that's the translate command. Um, I have it set for a face facet numbering of 25 and that's just so spheres look a little bit better. Let's start out by moving this cube um, five units in the X direction by changing the translate uh, vector to five. So the translate vector is an X, Y, and a Z vector and it's called a vector in open SCAD. It's not, I don't know if that's, I don't think that's related to the, a physics type vector, but um, loosely, I guess. So you'll see it's, that cube has now moved uh, five units in, on the X axis as demonstrated by this. Now let's simply move this cube five in, in the Y axis. So I'm gonna change that to five and hit, hit uh, five. So now you see I've, you know, I had a stack of cubes here and now that cube has moved uh, five in the Y. To show which one each command works on, you can, you can highlight it with the hashtag um, or pound symbol. Now let's do a Z, a Z move and we'll change this by changing this uh, value in the vector to five. And you'll see now we have a cube up there. And let's change the highlight so we can see that. There it is, so that's that one. And let's finally do uh, move one in all four in all three uh, directions. So we'll move this cube in five, and let's just be a little bit radical, <laughs> and I'll just move that in seven. So you see that it's off to the uh, off to the side a little bit. There it is up here. And let's highlight that so we can see it. Hashtag, and there it is out there. So you can move it in all three dimensions at one time. Now the translate also works as um, on child objects that are nested. And you can do that by including the objects in the curly braces. Let's get rid of this translate first. And let's see what we get. So we have a sphere here and a cube is in this mess right here. Let's, um, let's disable these. Uh, let's see what's disabled. I think it's percent. Let's see if I disable all these, maybe it'll look better. Uh, well, it's great. Anyway, so now we just have the, I, I can't keep uh, straight in my head what these percents are. Um, and by the way, just when you can't remember something, if you go to help and cheat sheet, this will take you out to the web and close that and give you a great overview of everything. And you can see right here, uh, dis uh, disable this asterisk. So I always get that wrong. Uh, let me go back to SCAD. All right, so let me disable these instead of just. So now, so the only thing I have now at the origin is the sphere and the square, and they're at they're at of one unit in size. So this the cube is one has one unit size uh, sides, and the sphere has one unit radius. So now, if I translate, uh, let's do it to ten on the x axis, you'll see that they these move out to ten on the x axis, uh, and that and you'll see that it moves both of them. Uh, so now suppose I wanted to move them both out on 10, but only the sphere up. So I'm going to copy this translate the command here, paste that in there and let's make this zero and I'm going to move this up. Let's just move it up uh, three units. So now this, this translate command will only work on the, the, the child directly after it, but this translate command will work on the two children, which is cube and the children child translate sphere within the curly braces. So now when I hit F5, you'll see that this cube has stayed, they've both stayed at 10, but the sphere has moved an additional three units out on the Y axis. So that's the basics of translate for, for the 3D subsystem. So now let's look at, and I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, just for the, well, yeah, let me, um, I'm going to just stick this in a union. You can ignore union for now. I'm, I'm doing it so I can just disable the whole thing easily. So now, now that's considered one object <laughs> and I'm going to disable it. So that disables that whole thing. So now let's, and the reason I'm doing that is because, uh, the 2D subsystem doesn't exist, won't compile alongside 
the three, uh, 3D subsystem, you'll get errors. So these are actually two dimensional objects. Um, although if you go, if they're just done in view, you just don't see them, uh, FreeCAD adds uh, apparent thickness. It's not really there. Uh, let's see if, so if I go to wireframe, nope, thrown together, nope. The only one, so you can see their true value by compiling it. And you see now that I've got, you know, the true shape. And let me just uh, disable the circle so you can understand that. And let me compile it again. So that's what is really uh, being represented by by this by the uh, square command here. But uh, in the preview, uh, OpenSCAD OpenSCAD gives it apparent thickness. So you can see in this case I have uh, two dimensions. I have um, x and y. So if I do five, you'll see it moves out to five and it changes to that preview and if I do five here it changes out to five there however you can move that two-dimensional shape in three dimensions but it's still a two-dimensional shape if we render it you see it's doesn't have that third dimension so I always just use um, just use the two because then it doesn't it doesn't uh, get confusing let's reorient reset okay so um, let's do a circle so you'll see the circle is at the center and uh, let's move it in introduce uh, if I wanted to move it in the negative coordinate system you just simply add a negative um, so I hit F5 and you see that's moved now negative 5 on the X and if I wanted to do negative on the Y it will also it'll do the same thing I hit F5 so it's moved it uh, three units in the negative direction on the Y axis and that's also true of Z. So let's let's do that with the Z. Let's get our shape back, shapes back here, and let's move some things down in the Z axis. So, so let's move it down five, and you'll see now that's below the X Y plane and in five in the Z axis. And none of these are centered, so that's why all their origins are at on the axis points or the point of origin as described by the translate. So let's do one more. Let me disable this. And let's look at this last one here. So this is a nest, uh, a nesting of 2D translates. So you see, as starting out, I'm like this, um, right at center. So let's translate these to 10 and 10. So they'll be out on the axes there. And let's render it so you have actual 2D shapes. I kind of wish uh, OpenSCAD didn't give it that three-dimensional uh, false three dimension because it's confusing to people but I'm sure they have good reasons so now if I wanted to translate these additionally I can move them let's move them uh, so actually let's to make it interesting let's do negative 10 negative 10 so they'll sit they'll stay relative to each other in this shape but they'll be moved into the negative quadrant here so you see they they're now basically uh, Oh, this kind of just negates it, I guess. Let's try something a little less less obvious. So you see, it's it's you know it, uh, relative to each other based on these translates. They're staying relative to each other, but then the whole object is moved like a union. So if I do it to say something weird, twenty-seven, you see that their distance hasn't changed. Just the center point of both children has changed. So that's Translate. I hope this uh, gets you through your basic understanding of Translate. And, um, uh, you know, come back and subscribe for more videos. I'm going to also be doing Rotate, uh, Beginners for Rotate and Beginners um, for some other basic commands. So make sure you subscribe and have a great day.